Spoon Master swag. Look at this. I mean, look at this. I got a new Rainbow Dash shirt. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, finally the super belated opinions on My Little Pony Season 4. I mean, like, considering that a lot of stuff isn't happening on my channel, lots of, um, took a couple of weeks of the Market Course submission, the end of Wi Fi, all sorts of other stuff. It didn't get me enough time to actually go from between, um, you know, finishing season four to right now. But, uh, yeah, here I am. Anyway, let me just take these off. It's really uncomfortable, very comfortable just looking at the camera like this. Okay. So, yeah. Stuff about season four, that, that was season four. This is actually the season where my brother got into the show. Because, um, uh, I have let my brother see the show. Or at least we'll see some episodes of the show. And, um, once, once I actually finished uh, watching the last episode, my brother actually got interested in watching the show. And he saw the whole thing, like, by himself without my intervention or anything. So, yeah, my brother is a fan of the show now, so. And he occasionally talks about the show, like, um, DeviantArt web comics. He mentioned stuff about, uh, I don't know, just, just parts of the show he likes or whatever. So... Yeah, that would be part of into the show. And for those of you who think that uh, bro won't be into the show because I make him watch video oh, videos of, of the show, nope, all worth it. Anyway, let's get right to the point of this. My favorite episode, well, my so my, so you know, my favorite episode, least favorite episode, sort of thing. Everything that I usually you know tie into my usual format of how I do the opinions of videos, all link into the same th same stuff. Because my favorite, because my, my favorite character, my favorite song, are all in my favorite episode. And my least favorite moment, uh, yeah, my least favorite moment is in my, my most hated episode. Well, one of my most hated episodes. Alright, so let's start this thing. My favorite episode is Pinky Pride. Because of everything. Because of the favorite character, because of the favorite song, it's because of, like, everything... How is it this? This is the element of laughter episode, and it works. Cause um, the, so there's some uh, key episodes, so to say, that uh, each feature, uh, each of the main main six, um, you know, have its sort of weakness in their element, and then um, get the rainbow eyes, and then let the show like a um, main strength of whatever their element is. Uh, for Pinkie Pie, it scores laughter, and it shows how how laughter how to say this how laughter can be taken over. It's like um, see the character Cheese Sandwich, he essentially steals Pinkie's thunder, leaving her depressed. How for having to overcome it, and then realize that just because you think something's funny doesn't mean so someone else thinks it's funny. This is why. I consider um, laughter the, the the worst element of harmony because laughter is subjective. Because um, I find that laughter is subjective, therefore it's the worst. You get more so than the others. Mostly, because, yeah, because because yeah, that's what I just said. However, everything in that episode just outright works. And that, other things like uh, due to another episode later on, it makes that episode better. I don't know how, how you make one of the best episodes of the entire series better, but it just happened. I'll, I'll get to that when I get to it. My other favorite episode, because I have, you know, two, is Flight to the Finish. Because it fixes the CMC. And I'll, and I'll talk about them in a moment, because it's actually in my favorite character slot. That they fix the CMC. And that's, and that's um, really awesome. It's like considering that later on, the... Um, you know, they continue working on the fact that, uh, yeah, they fixed it. Therefore, you don't have to be, work so hard in making them key characters. Just make them characters. Just make them who you, who, who pretty much expect, everyone expects them to be. Just characters, not just kids. Not just kids of, oh, I want to this for Cutie Mark, that sort of thing. No way. My least, my, my most hated episode is Rainbow Falls. Dash! Why the heck? Why the heck? <laughs> okay. So, why was it why the heck? It's a... Uh, it... How do you do this? How, how do I explain this? It is the... How do you make Rainbow Dash 
at her lowest. Yeah, because how do they bring when that's at her lowest? In other words, how does how do they bring when embarrassing to watch? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm gonna say. How do they how do they bring that's embarrassing to watch? Because um, like with the all the other eight episodes, I consider a worst episode if I feel like skipping it or feel like skipping parts of it. If it's at least one part that I do not want to watch, just write a skip, then I, then I consider that a bad episode. Cause um, yeah, I mean, like if you don't want to watch something, why why do you like it so much? Oh, granted, with um episodes as um Spike Your Service, I still consider the worst episode ever. There's some parts of it that I, in I got impressed. This one, not so much. Doesn't help the fact that I predicted. A lot of things going on that in that episode. Like I knew Derp was gonna come up. I didn't. There was a tweet going on before this that um, uh, I forgot who was it that uh, she knew the exact moment where fans were gonna go and go wild or something. I never read that. So um, I kind of predicted Derpy. So um, I wasn't sure Derpy was gonna come up. It's like okay, so so I think one thing what comment was well, I guess they didn't want to bring Derpy. And then they brought Derpy. I call that one. And I call a lot of other things that um, maybe I actually would do. Or the Wonder Bros will do. You know, to persuade Rainbow Dash to go to their side. Which is why I think loyalty is actually my... The second worst element of harmony, in my opinion. Because of loyalty to who? So, um, and let me think like, about that episode. That, that was a showcase why... Loyalty is not the best element of harmony, like among the six. It's not the best because once you get conflicted of who like whose side they want to be on. Like, do they want to be on the Wonderbolts team to win? And that's kind of her character part of her character that she, she likes to be just she's kind of a sore winner. Or I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna work. It, like she likes to win stuff. And plus they're kind of her idols versus her friends who suck. Or rather, her friend and the, um, what's his name? Bulk Biceps? Which is the most, uh, the most creepiest sound ever, because, like, they changed his, uh, voice from the men. Yeah! I did it wrong. So, yeah! It's, uh. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So, you either take the, take the friend and suck, or take the idol, or take the idol route, but it's not your friend, and win. That's kind of what uh, Grand Master's thing does. And yet, it makes it embarrassing to watch. Because it makes the Wonderbolts kind of not, kind of, I don't know, not, what's the word I'm looking for? The, they want to win, but kind of, kind of more excessive levels. It's really, what the heck? But uh, I'm gonna stop talking about it. It's just, embar just embarrassing to watch. It's like the second worst episode of the whole entire series. There, done. And then there's a question again, it's like, what the heck went on? There was large amounts of hype. There was like, it's like Maximilian Dude levels of hype for that episode. They hyped that episode so well. Ironically, they're starting in Rainbow Falls. They started Rainbow Falls and then they upped, they upped the ante like some other bit. Uh, and then here comes the Equestria Games, the culmination of the subplot of, of season four. It's a Spike episode. What? How, 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 how did that happen? Is, is the event of Rainbow Falls not good? Wait a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> I just had a realization. Maybe they're trying to undo Rainbow Falls or something. Even though, like, um, yeah, Rainbow Dash was there actually performing, but... I guess they care so little about the episode that just screw that. Like, <laughs> just let the Wonderbolts win. Whatever. I don't care. But, uh... What happened? Why? Why I consider that about the episode is kind of why the reason like the reason because Spike is there as like the main point of it. It was also for Hayden Moon, but I can talk about that. Okay, favorite character, the character, Weird Al the Pony. Do I need to explain? What? It's Weird Al the Pony. Weird Al is awesome. Pony is awesome. Put them together, you got this guy. Awesome. He is pure awesome. So, so you went Pinkie Pie with a dude, but better. <laughs> and actually, actually, um, 
after I heard, after I watched the episode, like some other people like analyzing it, something about how there was a sort of hype as well, in which Pinkie Pie, the party pony, versus Weird Al, which explains himself. It's amazing. <laughs> I've, I've not seen it before prior to it, but yeah, to see it now is pretty amazing. And I think they fixed the CMC. That's just why I like about it. They fixed the CMC. They fixed uh, the whole uh, Scootaloo sc subplot of her being unable to fly, which I wasn't even aware of until that episode. Like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, Scooter doesn't even fly. She uses her, her scooter. I, I, for I heard that she didn't fly. I, she I forgot that she couldn't fly. It was just really kind of an interesting point. So, she can't fly. She has a disability. And yet, the other characters... Don't mind it. That's amazing. And, they, and that's what makes like, white people hate Diamond Tiara even more so. Because she um, calls school out for her disability. And then Apple, Apple Bloom and uh, Sleepy Bell, they're like, so? So? That's amazing. Yes. Keep doing that. That's amazing. Uh, they made Apple Bloom a lot braver than usual. I mean, granted, she was, she was brave before, but dang. <laughs> She went into like a fiery, like a, a fiery swamp, and lit. She went a fiery swamp, having to deal with the freaking chimera, and lived. Okay, granted, the Applejack moment there is freaking cool as hell, but not there yet. And Sleepy Bell is just a pretty neat, a neat character too. Uh, sometimes she can be kind of annoying, but it's kind of part of the character now, so I don't mind it that much. Considering who she had to deal with. But yeah, that's what I said. The most hated character, another one off character, The Hipster Pony. I will not say his name. I have his name written down over here. But I'm not saying his name because he's just a hipster pony and I don't care about him and fr frig, uh, uh, what's a simple ways. Uh, okay. Uh, so, okay, speaking of simple ways, I consider that. One of the most average episodes. It's like, it was like a really average episode. Because um, they got the hipster pony, but then they balance it out with the one moment, like, with the, with the, with the, probably the, one of the best moments I've ever seen out of Spike. One of the best Spike moments. Rarity was, um, was saying like, uh, something about like, how, um, how, how, like, how was it? Like, how would you know how some pony love some other pony, but then, I forget. I forget, I forget the line. Put the line in! Oh, Spike, how could you ever know what it's like to be totally obsessed with a pony, only to find out they're obsessed with some pony else? That face. Yeah. There you go. I can't, I can't really explain it well, because I don't remember the episode, the line very well. So, that is kind of the best Spike moment. Every other Spike moment on their hand, why? Just, 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 why? Oh, by the way, if uh, you see a time skip, then that's because I noticed that uh, some parts of the video didn't work well, so I recorded, re recorded it. Okay, there we go. Uh, Spike. What I really don't like about it is that they positioned the episode Power Ponies too early in the season. Because, uh, in most episodes, they acknowledge that Spike is kind of like a sidekick, nothing more. So, with having uh, Power Ponies like early in the season, they get okay, okay. So, everyone knows that Spike needs to be, needs to grow as a character. And yet, in some other episodes, he just keeps treated like a sidekick. He is then beat up for some reason. He gets emotionally scarred for a moment. He keeps getting a slapstick beat on him. What the heck? Because things, nothing really happen. Nothing really happen in story in PowerPoint. So you can just put put that way later down in the season, and then it'll probably be better story like um character wise. So that's pretty much some idea I have of, of Spike. The thing is, like Spike is my brother's favorite character. Believe it or not, he actually told me this. Spike is his favorite character. So having the slapstick beat onto him, why? Especially considering after the episode, which acknowledge, which acknowledges that and tries to try to avoid it, but no, it didn't. The heck. Went to some later episodes, like fixed it, 
But when we get to the most hated moment, it all went down there from there. All right. Favorite song. The moment Cheese Sandler starts singing. That is my favorite song. This, they call it the Super Duper Party Pony. Yeah. They call it that. This is the part where we're saying, yep, that's Weird Al the Pony. Because, like, uh, before that, uh, Chi Sam doesn't talk, so I can't tell who it is. So I can't really tell who it is. However, I got spoiled of who it is because of a certain analyst. <laughs> a certain analyst she spoiled me, like, who actually did it. Who actually is going to be Chi Sandwich, but, um. Uh, but anyway, so. You can't tell that was Weird Al, like, right at the beginning. But the moments are singing, yep, that's Weird Al. That is Weird Al. You, you, you cannot deny that first because only Weird Al has that voice in the way he sings it. So, yeah, that's how you tell it's Weird Al. And it's gonna, it's gonna notice, you have this Weird Al, this is gonna be awesome. And it is. That's why the first song. Because it's definitely like, you know this is gonna be good. So, unlike um, Magical Mystery Cure, the best, my favorite song out of it didn't really come until the middle of it. Or near, yeah, middle end of it. And all the other songs uh, before that kind of bad. <laughs> Just bad. But uh, this one, yeah, you know it's good. My other favorite song is Apples to the Core. Because, uh, how to say this? There was some sort of like a preview or something for season four, like an animatic or something, that just showed the song. And people love it. So, if people love it, I love it. I haven't seen it, I haven't had it see it in the. Um, in motion, in episode, yeah, it sounds all right. That sounds about right, and that's why I like it so much. And it's kind of funny because it actually makes it makes the otherwise average episode slightly better. Because I think it's like that episode is kind of average. It's like nothing's kind of eh. It's like, but then that song is hmm, yeah. My most hated song, when Discord starts singing, <laughs> glass of water. What the heck is that? It's kind of, kind of a strange um, musical style that doesn't suit anybody. I don't know why, it doesn't suit anybody. It's not like Discord, because Discord's kind of a weird character as it is, so have, have, a, have a weird character sing a weird song with weird references that I don't even know what they are. Well, except maybe the Harry Potter and Star Wars one, that's what just recent. But the others, I don't know. So, I, did, I didn't get the references. I mean, I don't think it, I didn't like the fact that Discord started singing. I don't know. I just didn't like it. And the last song, Let the Rainbow Remind You. Eh, generic pop. Whatever. That's it. However, other than again, that song kind of kind of like drives the point home about the whole plot, about the main plot of, of season four. It's basically, let your powers combine, Captain Planet. <laughs> I never even watched Captain Planet yet. Yeah, I know all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I kind of get, yeah, get the idea. Or Super Saint, or Super Saint Twilight, but which we'll get to later. Oh my god, uh, I can't believe I messed up with Super Saint Twilight. Anyway, moving on. My favorite moment. I know about these favorite moments first, because like my favorite moment is actually insane. Okay, let's hear a moment. So, in the Questry Games, which is supposed to be about the games, hence the name of the title, all it is is a Spike not be- Spike being- Spike embarrassing himself the whole episode. So, sorry, like, there's one thing I don't want to watch, in general, be it TV, uh, in real life, or in movies, or in video games, whatever, is people making a fool of themselves just because. Example, I really don't like Xenoblade. And that's not be and it, granted, it's not just because of the fact that there's, uh, that Ryan pushed a button that he shouldn't, he know he shouldn't do, and then it's like everyone hating on him for that, but. but whatever. This is kind of the at moment, is it just Spike embarrassing himself. The lowest point that happened is when, you know, Rainbow Dash's team got second place in the, in the um, Wonderballs won that race relay, whatever. They, I think they call it aerial relay, whatever. That uh, Spike actually volunteered himself to go all the way to the center stage and sing the, sing the national anthem of 
part of the not the national anthem, more like the regional anthem. Because like if it's national anthem, then does that make Equestria uh, like the United States? So no, 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 can't, no, not the United States. Like no, like the United Kingdom. So, but then yeah, I still call I still call Equestria a Principa principality. So whatever. Uh, sing the original anthem of Clausdale. And he doesn't know what it is. <laughs> he sort of doesn't know what it is. Therefore, every pony was all like, boom, just, I don't know, I, I don't remember seeing. Uh, I think I, I remember seeing just by like offhand seeing other uh, analysts uh, go, go to that point, but I skipped that part. I skipped the entire part of that because I don't want to see any, any character embarrass themselves like the way Spike did. And that is terrible. I don't want that. And, I don't know, this is the lowest point I can go with seeing anything. Anyway, let's go on from the lowest point to the best moment. My favorite moment, there are two. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let reference a uh, couple of analysts. Because, um, they make, they put that statement better than I could. This is TBBAP on Mod Pie. Okay. Fuck everything else, we gotta talk about how fucking strong she is. When when she was doing that thing, when she was playing a sport throw she's, with, with Rainbow Dash. She's only strong with rocks. It, she's only strong when she feels like it, and she feels like it when rocks are involved. When she's playing that game with Rainbow <laughs> Dash, Rainbow flies up in the air, gets a huge advantage, throws that rock, and is like, beat that. And Mod makes a fucking rock atomic explosion with her rock. It was the best thing I've ever seen! I didn't- I had no idea that was gonna happen! She's a rock genius. She is a rock god. She's and a rock god! She is a rock god! <laughs> that is awesome! Mom just freaking threw a rock at the explosion and- <laughs> Where did that come from? It's like, what? <laughs> what was that? Oh, that was amazing. That's like- I can't help but laugh, it's just amazing. And then um that other moment in Mod Pie in which they literally use her hooves to drill a rock to save Pinky. How does that even work? She they, she uses her hooves to make drilling sounds. Drilling sounds! How do hooves make drilling sounds? Drill! <laughs> make drill sounds. <laughs> no 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 I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry, not drill sounds, I'm sorry, not drill sounds. Jackhammer sounds, my bad. So you two like jackhammer sounds. Really? <laughs> Mod Pie, strongest pony. Or at least like strongest pony you see so far. And then the final battle. The fact that there is a final battle baffles me. So let me get this straight. The main villain uh, of the final episodes, like he wanted to, you know, um, drain, like uh, drain the magic of literally every, literally every pony, unicorns, pegasi, or ponies. He don't care. Growing bigger and bigger, and eventually he, you know, sucked the, so drained the magic of uh, the main six minus Twilight and Discord. Yeah, things gonna get real. Meanwhile, Twilight. Um, because, um, Celestine, uh, the princesses gave her their own magic, therefore it gave, uh, Twilight kind of go to, kind of go to a god mode of sorts, well, even more so of a god mode, uh, tried to raise the sun, uh, lower the moon, raise the sun, and did these weird patterns, it's really funny, but, uh, I think the moment that she figured out how to use it is the best moment. So only one image to describe. That's why everything. Because, like, yes, the battle is awesome. However, it is one image. I don't need one image. And that's a fair moment. Okay, so let me get the context. So, Twilight has no idea what to do with T-Rex, which is the main villain. She has all this power, but she doesn't know how to use it. And then T-Rex, with the Twilight, blows up the treehouse, which is one of the most iconic parts of the show. The treehouse blows it up. And then, I'm just seeing all them, you know, seeing the library get destroyed, the owl goes away from, goes away, and then, this. This. 
is my favorite moment. When Wayne show up on a different animation style than you would normally put, then things are about to get real. You know things will get real when something out of the ordinary pops up leading to a, a battle in a quote-unquote girls TV show that can take on the likes of Dragon Ball Z. What? The battle that ensues is very Dragon Ball Z. Not Dragon Ball Original, not Dragon Ball GT, just straight up. It's like, I don't know, I don't know if, I don't know if it's a Frieza Saga or Cell Saga or Boo Saga. I don't remember, but um, it's very up, up in there. It's very that level. There are lots of beam spam, there's a lots of teleporting, there's some throwing into mountains. It's just amazing. Doesn't doesn't have, doesn't have that later on in the episodes. Twilight goes Super Saiyan. Well, Twilight and Company goes Super, goes Super Saiyan. Okay, Rainbow Power. And one hit KO T Rex. So, well, there you go. That is my favorite. That's probably one of my favorite moments in the entire series. That's saying a lot. I mean, I may be a brony, or at least a fan of the show, but I'm still manly enough to. Enjoy the fact that this happened, and to consider my favorite moment. This is that part necessary? Probably not. We probably don't even need the, the epic Dragon Ball Z moment. You can just go straight to the um, straight to the key part, in which through the key part in which um, Twilight manages to figure out um, uh, her rainbow eyes of friendship. Go to the box. Open the box, get rainbow power, want to kill T-Rex. They could just skip the battle entirely. But they didn't. They did skip they added the battle in. To realize that, that to realize this. The original demographic, it's meant for like little girls, but also Lauren Fox wanted boys to actually watch uh, to like this uh, thing too. How it's evolved so much to be like a community a large community over the years to not just include little girls but also manly men like this guy. So, which leads to the point of manly men like this guy wearing this, which is supposedly meant to be for little girls. It's a different thing entirely. It's amazing. So, literally everyone likes the show and then. The animators feel like they're acknowledging the fact that, yeah, we got older guys watching this. Let's please the older guys by having this manly battle between t the main villain, and our main character, Twilight. Pretty much supercharged. It's like what happens if, no, it's supercharged in Ikin then Ubercharge. It's like supercharged, Ubercharged, Twilight. And get her straight on in, straight head first into a bean spam battle with T Rex. It's amazing. Okay, I've seen, I've said, I've said enough. Okay. Oh boy. Makes you wonder how will season five top this? Cause like season three had the best ending. I think season two had the best beginning. Se season four had, had, the, had the best, one of my favorite moments in general. Had like this amazing moment. How will season five top this? I guess we'll just see in 2015. So anyway, this is Master, signing out. And I'll probably never say that signing out ever again.